inspect the object. So let's apply that again. Okay. So, and then if I go neck to spine five, spine five is actually going to, actually I wonder, I duplicate this, delete those, and just kind of, I've seen people do this, I'm not sure it's under spine five. And then the neck will go under spine five. So this would be like spine end. Um, it is just to keep the orientations going the right way. Um, which would then change. So this would all be consistent and then kind of change a bit there. It's hard to keep a lot of this stuff straight. And that's kind of the point of this is to help me kind of remember keep doing stuff the way I like to do it and or need to do it. So it looks like, and then everything here is named, right? To some extent. So let's take all of these minus the I, minus the ends. Well, uh, I tell you what, that's spine, spine, neck. Let's turn off the head there, I think we need that. Let's skin this to the body. So, skin, by skin, selected joints, closest distance, classic linear, and four. So let's apply that, neck, head, jaw, Head, brow, teeth, tongue, teeth, beard. Skin there. And then let's just grab our eyes. Right eye. Right eye. Left eye. Left eye. All right. And we can now just kind of be like, that's not doing a thing. Why is that not doing a thing? That's doing a thing. Why is my shoulder not doing anything? Uh, all right, legs, shirt, shorts, vest, hands. Shirt, shorts. Did my shirt not? So, uh, go to skin, unbind skin, or delete history, and delete. So let's do hips, that thigh through that spine. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, helps if they're selected. Then we'll get to body mesh. Oops, control, select body mesh, skin, find skin. All right. Now these guys are in there. Right. Have to reorient that, I think. So it's always good to check. Object. Uh, you know, not the worst. Uh, I like having that little square there, I think really helps. Hello. And then we'll go in here and add some fingers. Uh, but you know, we could do just some quick IK testing. Uh, let's go to that. So, thigh to ankle. Actually, let's go back. I do I have a single chain? I want rotate plane. I ankle. Let's go G. I ankle. Uh, G. Shoulder wrist. Shoulder wrist. G. Shoulder wrist. All right. And, you know, I'm not going to sweat them too much right now. Nice. Uh, and let's create some locators uh, just for testing. Cheese Louise, that's a big locator, local scale. Such a weird 
size for locator. All right. So what I'm going to do with this locator, I'll duplicate one. I'm going to come to left elbow, parent, zero, unparent. So this would be a good thing to script. And then I'll move it back. Here a bit. And uh, let's grab this IK, this locator, a constraint, hold vector. Wrong order. Hold vector. There we go. So this should do that. Right. This should. Hubba, 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 hubba. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. But that did not uh, throw off my joint at all, which is what I'm just double checking. So let's parent this here. Uh, locator, zero it out. Unparent it, move it up. Uh, put it a bit up here. And click this, click this. Uh, constrain. Vector. If I grab my IK here. It. And if I grab my hips, whoop, that stays. Do I need to pull back the other one to stay? So, you know, I can rock my hips here. I separate my center of gravity. Still. And then my spine goes forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Everything twists correctly. You know, not too bad for a start. I'll leave it here for now. Here's my head. What's up, baby? My head. The neck should move everything, you know. All right. Actually, I guess I'm going to have to either do another neck joint there or parent that. Because okay, that that part needs to say so that part needs to be skinned to the cloud uh, to my uh, end spine, I think, as well. But so you know, here's a start. I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, check back later. Bye.